My name is Sharon Liddell and I'm the Surveys Officer in Learning and Teaching Services. With course evaluations opening soon, we thought this was an ideal time to share some tips on improving response rates. Last year, we invited staff who had been getting good response rates to tell us what they do to encourage this success. We have collated all responses and can provide you with some tips from your colleagues. Try spending time early in the course explaining the importance of student feedback. Explain what course evaluations are, particularly for our first year students, where and when they can have their say by clicking on the big red button in their Moodle site. It is also really important that we explain what happens with the student feedback and how we use it to improve our courses and programs. I'm now going to introduce Delma Clifton, who will talk to you about her practice with course evaluations. Hi, I'm Delma Clifton and I teach anatomy and physiology and I'm working out of the sciences discipline. When I'm marking exams, I sometimes get a little depressed. It's the end of term and I think, what have I done wrong? How come the students haven't got this? And so getting the feed student feedback can be actually very affirming because mostly I get positive comments and sometimes even comments from students indicating why they think they haven't done so well and sometimes owning their own performance. So it kind of balances the end of term when things aren't looking so great sometimes. Of course when students provide feedback and I make improvements to the course that's a benefit to students. It's not a benefit to the same students, it's sort of a pay forward. They will, pro they will provide um, improvements for the next cohort of students, they will receive improvements from the student cohort that goes before them. It also helps them reflect on what happened with the course and whether or not there were issues that were the should be owned by the coordinator or the institution or whether or not those issues should be owned by themselves. And so hopefully when they sit down and take a few seconds to identify what could be improved and what were the best aspects, it might help improve their engagement with their own learning in future courses as well. I take fairly comprehensive response to student feedback. I first of all calculate all of the average scores and try to identify individual areas where I might need to consider what I'm doing and make improvements. But then I download all of the comments and I sort through them and I identify the main themes. So the comments about tutorials and the comments about residential schools and the comments about um, the exams or the assessment for example. This is beneficial for myself because if you get one nasty comment it can actually reverberate and go round and round in your head and really eat away at you. But if you take the time to identify what else was said about the nasty, the area that the nasty comment identified, you might realise, well, one person said that I was a lousy lecturer, 27 said I was the best lecturer ever, and you can, you can put it into perspective, and that's really good as an academic for your mental health. The other thing I do is I summarise all of this information once I've identified my themes, and I post the comments or my comments on their, their comments onto the Moodle site and I have a fairly high hit rate for people coming back after they get their exam results and reading that approximately 50% of the students that respond will then also read that feedback. I'd like to read some of that so that I can give you an example of what I do do with it. In this particular feedback I said that 51% of the students who responded commented about the residential school. Now that means it's a very big issue. Seven of these students were concerned about the timing of residential school and believed it should have been later in the term. I went on to say, I totally agree. However, um, we did it one year because it's in the spring summer and Queensland flooded and a number of students were possibly disadvantaged because we simply couldn't run that last residential school. The other consideration is that there are other nursing courses that also have residential schools and they have to have those residential schools early in term because the students are going out on clinical. And so therefore we need to have them as close together as possible to avoid students having the extra cost of um, attending both residential schools. So they have it a little bit later than they'd prefer and I have it a little bit earlier than I'd prefer. I then went on to say that four students commented that it was too difficult to study two topics a week in preparation for the residential school and unfortunately this was a little bit of um, mixed messages. I had suggested students study two a week, however I had done that for other reasons and they were feeling pressured and felt that they 
didn't or weren't able to meet that deadline and I will have to look at how I communicate that in future. Six students indicated that they felt the res school was not worthwhile and these are the ones I was quite concerned about until I identified that seven students asked for it to be increased to two days and four indicated that it was one of the best aspects of the course. So you can see that the data was mixed and so I pointed out to the students that they're part of a large student cohort and just because their particular complaint isn't taken notice of doesn't mean we aren't listening. It just means that other people might prefer what's already happening. And you can justify what you do by providing that feedback to students and that's a very powerful way to use it. So in summary, communicate regularly with your students and remind them about the course evaluations. Don't forget to thank the students for taking the time to complete a course evaluation and talk to your peers and gather new ideas on ways to improve response rates. Did you know that for each course evaluation completed, the student will go on the draw to win an iPad Air or one of $220 Coles My Vouchers, or they can choose to donate their place to a charity. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and if you require any assistance with your course evaluations, please contact any of the team in Learning Teaching Services. Thank you.